I'ma tell you why you can't Said you got a long way to go Say you wanna love me You wanna touch me Think twice cause you got a long way to go Hey guys, it's me Mike and today I'm just going to show you a video on making a wallpaper. So, it's kind of like followed up with the last video on making wallpapers. So, I'm just going to do this periodically during the day. Just randomly making, if I decide to make a cool wallpaper, I'll just hit the record button so you guys can see me and we can do this whole process together and make a cool wallpaper. So if you checked out my last video I'm downloading high definition PNG images or close high def um, I made this cool wallpaper so you know you guys if you want it you can head over to my website at mikesdesigns.name.com head over to the photo section and click on this image and you should be able to download it so yeah so head into your photoshop and I'm just gonna I already have my um, mine set on the wallpaper I think I might want to make so I'm just gonna press control new select my 1440 by 900 dimensions press ok then I'm just gonna start off with my gradient as always it's like a cup of coffee a day you need your cup of coffee or a cup of juice or whatever you have a day that you normally have a day yeah so I'm um, gonna go into my file browser or just control open or control O. Go to mic and well for me it's mic. I'm gonna go into my pictures and I believe I saved it in my downloads folder. So I'm gonna go select my browser um, image. I'm gonna filter everything out by PNG type. And as you can see this is to the mascot factory tab and or in other words you can just click on the link that I'll provide in the video description to go directly to this image that I'm gonna be using and guess what you guys it's in high definition so it won't be blurry when you scratch it out or try to resize it it's gonna be great so hopefully my everything went well I'm just gonna switch back to large icons select my Bowser before it freezes alright so here's my high definition bowser right there looks pretty cool so what I'm gonna do is just drag it into my wallpaper document so it looks pretty small but it's, it's good the way I like it though it's nice it's I'm gonna resize in a few minutes anyway so right click on that image convert to small object I do that because I don't want it to distort as I'm resizing it so so control T to resize and shift and alt to hold the dimensions in place just like that it's big enough it looks cool so I like it like that so now I'm gonna go into my photos and browse through a certain wallpaper or just pick out a random wallpaper I'm um, not sure which one I'm gonna use uh, and basically if you do have a hard time figuring out what wallpaper you want to use head over to wallpaperabyss.com or wall.alphacoders.com and or just click on this link in the video description that easy and um, I'm going to click something really cool um, an image uh, I like this one right here so this image right here looks pretty abstract pretty cool so I'm just gonna right click save as and I'm gonna save it onto my desktop so it'd be easier for me right now for this video and I'm copy the name so I could just easily get it save so go back to my Photoshop file open or control open go to my desktop and uh, you can just paste in the name oops that's not the name well yeah anyway you got you get what I'm trying to do um so just look for the wallpaper that you downloaded I have to find it now here it is abstract cool so once you open that wallpaper we're gonna drag it into our document 
So just drag and drop. I'm gonna maximize this wallpaper again. And I'm um, just gonna set it to the side. And what I'm gonna do differently is just select that right there. The magic wand, just to get that extra black out because I don't really need it. And just like that. Control D to deselect. Now it's gonna look a little bit distorted, but it's a method to my madness. So I'm just gonna select my eraser tool and select everything that doesn't look right. So just like that. And select the bracket keys to kind of resize it instead of going through all that right clicking and all that stuff. So once I have that, um, what you can do is select the layers. Control click on that layer once you've done that. Select um, select the select but button. Go to modify. Go to feather and set the feather to about 5 maybe 10 if you want and then control shift I to inverse that and then hit backspace what that what that's gonna do is kinda feather out the edges so it looks a little smooth then what you can do is place that behind Bowser and then we're gonna resize that just a bit so resize it just bring it out just a little bit like that and then what I'm going to do is just move that to the side and then what I'm going to do is kind of give it a hue and saturation blend so I'm just going to put that to a nice green effect right there something like something like that and then what you can do is just merge down or merge visible right click merge layers and duplicate that and then I'm going to do a edit transform I'm gonna flip it horizontally just like that just gonna move it over to the side and then just to give it a little more abstract look flip it vertical just like that bring it down and then have like this Bowser text right in, in between the collision of these two wallpapers so just like that, that looks pretty cool. So bounce this right there in the collision. Just gonna move that over. Move that up maybe. Just like that. Or maybe resize that. Just like that. Looks pretty cool. Do the same for that one. Cool. So once I have that now I got this black empty space in the background, so I just want to do something about that. I got a grudge against that background, so I'm going to select my gradients. And I'm going to actually change my gradient to something more suitable for this one. So maybe something like uh, let's see, something like I don't know. I might keep this one. I might just add another background, so. Go into my pictures and um, select my PNG or JPEG images only. That way it'd be easier. Something like that looks cool. And you guys probably seen this wallpaper already and used it in the contest. Hint, hint. Um, so I'm just going to put that in the background. Kind of resize it. Maybe even uh, do something like that. So that looks pretty cool, something like a collision behind it. Not a collision, it's not like a car crash, but a you know a cool abstract look. So that's what I'm getting right there. And I'm um, just gonna hue and saturation that as well. Change the color of that. And what you always can do is uh, never forget this. You can select that layer right there and just go to desaturate. So edit on your image adjustments go down to desaturate that will take all the color out then go to hue and saturation and then just colorize it again or just only select that one layer just control click on it because I can see I'm having problems already um, colorize and then pump up the saturation to about maybe 60 or 66 put it green something like that press ok so I'm put it even some even number so about 100 put it 
for the hue and about 70 for the saturation. So, so press OK. Then select the bottom layer, like that, merge them. So once I got something like that, I can select my browser text. I'm just going to put something more noticeable, so something like that. And then I'm just going to give it a cool stroke, so maybe a black. I'm just gonna decrease the stroke size to about maybe four, maybe five would probably be good. Just like that, maybe increase the drop shadow just a bit. So maybe increase the opacity. Trying to get cracky. And then uh, increase the distance as well.